Hi, I'm Deborah Hartseely, food editor on the Sun Sentinel, and we're here at beautiful Daryl and Oliver's Cafe Max in Pompano Beach. We're going to learn how to make something for dinner tonight that's quick and easy. Come on, let's go find the chef. What are you going to make today? We're going to make a super easy dish with uh, chicken breast. It's going to be a sweet jerk glaze. Normally, jerk glaze is really spicy. Uh, I can't eat it, it's so spicy. So what I like to do is ma uh, make it a little bit mellow with some tropical style jelly. Today, we're going to use pineapple. And what we're going to do is we have these two chicken breasts. They were a little odd sized. So I went ahead and cut them down just a little bit so they're going to cook a little quicker. Then I have a hot pan working over here. We're going to put some salt and pepper on these chicken breasts. Then we're going to have a little bit of olive oil and in it goes. Nice and hot. It's almost, yeah, it is just about smoking. In they go. And you could do this out in the grill just as well. Little side burner action going on. What we're going to do is make a couscous with snow peas. Let me go ahead and put a lid on this baby here. Maybe turn that heat down just a little bit. So over here in this other pan, I have the uh, couscous with snow peas going. And what I did here, I sliced some scallions and I took the whites and I put them inside of the uh, pan here. And we're just going to saute that a little bit with some olive oil again. Let's see what's going on under here. Oh yeah, look, we're getting a nice sear on there. Not quite done yet, but just a little bit more. And for me, the best way to cook chicken breast is not to cook it all the way. Cook it to like medium well and then let it rest in the pan to cook the rest of the way and that's how it stays perfectly succulently juicy. Let's go back and make our uh, mango jerk uh, glaze. So I got about a tablespoon in here and then I'm going to mix this with some pineapple jelly. Probably about equal parts there. And then I'm also going to add in here some pineapple puree or crushed pineapple. I'm going to mix that up a little bit and then we're going to squeeze a lime into here. Usually what you want to do is kind of cut the, uh, I guess what do you oh, call those little rib bits in there that. like that and it makes it a little bit easier to squeeze. That's brilliant. Takes just a second. We're going to go ahead and mix that up. Now this, the jerk season is, like you said before, is very spicy and the sugar kind of tames that. For exactly me. right. Tames it right down and this one here is still going to be a little bit spicy. If you want to have it a little bit less, you just add a little bit more sweet and it kind of tones it right down. So what we're going to do now is deglaze this with a bit of wine. You can do that with any kind of liquid, can't you? Oh uh, yeah, you could use a little bit of apple juice or even some pineapple juice because that kind of matches all this together. I like to add just a little bit of chicken broth and that's going to kind of help make the sauce. And also this little bit of liquid here is going to help finish off this chicken and as the juices run out of the chicken, that's what makes this uh, little sauce, the quick pan sauce taste so good. So now we come back over here. We don't want to really cook the snow peas all that much. And then we're going to add in our chicken broth. All you kind of want to do is bring your liquid to the boil, add the couscous, and uh, as soon as it comes back to the boil, remove it from the heat or just turn the heat off and let it sit there and steam. And then usually here in the uh, chicken pan, I like to add just a little bit of butter at the end. Now is that emulsified in the sauce and thicken it, it or does it, it just does. melt? It just kind of melts in there. We're not looking for a real heavy sauce here, we're just a, a light broth to kind of moisten everything up. It smells great. Is it time for dinner? It just about is. Let's take a quick look here, see how we're doing. Oh yeah, see that puff of steam on there? See how that has been uh, kind of fluffed up? The water's gone. gone. At this point now, you want to stir it up and kind of fluff the greens up. And this is where I add the, the, uh, the remaining scallion greens. Fresh ones. So and then, uh, right, at this point now, you taste for salt and pepper, so if it needs a little bit more, you add it in there. And then, what I like to do to get fancy, you don't have to do this, is use a coffee cup or a demi tasse cup and put the uh, couscous inside there. You didn't oil it or anything? You Nothing, just, just right in there. It. And then, uh, I find that if you kind of squeeze it a little bit in there and just set it in there just for a few seconds, it tends to pop out a little easier. And that's going to work out just fine because we're going to come over here. Our chicken now is rested. And we want to go back here and pick out our snow peas. Look at that. It's Beautiful. my lucky day. And then what we want to do is take a little bit of our jus. Here we go. Just like that. Just a little jus over the top. And then you could either go ahead and put some of this right on. If you or like spice. just serve it on the side. And then you could, you could garnish it with a little pineapple or an edible flower. And here we have it. 
Chicken breast with snow pea couscous. Exquisite, Chef. Thank you so much.